there were three things that I really wanted to achieve with this experiment. The first was that I was craving some chicken soup, and so I wanted to make one with an Asian flavor profile. The second was that I wanted to test out ChatGPT's image recognition capabilities in order to help me suggest a recipe. And the third and most important thing, of course, was that I really wanted to test what cooking in mixed reality on Quest 3 would feel like and get a sense of whether this use case is one that's somewhat practical. So I started by going to ChatGPT on my iPad and I took a picture and then prompted ChatGPT to give me a recipe. And I opened the ChatGPT discussion that I had started on my iPad, opened it in a browser window that it was floating over my kitchen counter. And that is a really, really cool experience, to be honest. I mean, just having your browser window floating in space over your ingredients and interacting with everything just using your hands is uh, just kind of like mind blowing, to be honest. The image quality of the pass through was very impressive. I've done this exact same thing on Quest Pro and that experience was just unbearable. It was grainy and laggy and overall I just immediately felt a lot of motion sickness so it was never something that I could really engage in properly. Another thing I'll mention is that doing kitchen work, chopping vegetables and moving around didn't really trigger any like distortions that were noticeable while I was going through the experience. After I had put all the ingredients in the pot uh, I was curious about what kind of spices I could add to the soup. So I used the virtual keyboard floating in space with my dirty hands and I started typing um, into the chat GPT, what other spices can I put into my soup that taste good? Pulled out some spices out of my uh, cabinet. It gave me some instructions and some feedback and I kind of ran with it. Uh, I made a little cinnamon uh, cardamom, bay leaf, clove, star anise concoction that I then threw into the pot and I let it simmer all together for 90 minutes. After which I came back and I wanted to open a second browser window to show some YouTube footage of Ethan Chabowski, who's one of my favorite cooking YouTubers. So I did that, opened it in a second browser and just, you know, had two browser windows now floating in my kitchen to you know, help me be a better cook and keep me entertained while I was uh, prepping my dinner. And then I removed the chicken from the soup um, and I strained the soup and I had a bunch of steam sort of surround my face and the headset, um, but it didn't cause any damage um, and everything was fine. I pulled the chicken apart with my hands, at least I tried but the chicken was quite hot so uh, i quickly you know with my dirty chicken hands started typing on my keyboard asking chat gpt how i could make my hands more heat resistant because i guess uh, that's what i need if i want to pull chicken apart faster in my kitchen as it's coming out of the soup Overall, the experience was really good. The pass-through was quite good. I did not experience any motion sickness throughout this entire experience. And overall, I would say I was in the kitchen for uh, 30 minutes with the headset on. And you know, you always feel fatigued after wearing a headset for a while. And I certainly did feel a little bit of sort of fatigue as well, but I did not feel motion sickness and I got about wearing, wearing the headset. I kind of got pulled into whatever I was doing, whether it was like prepping the ingredients, whether it was talking to ChatGPT, whether it was watching a YouTube video. Those are the things that were top of mind. I wasn't actually actively thinking about being in mixed reality all the time. Um, whereas, again, comparing it to the Quest Pro, which is kind of the, the, the baseline for me, there it was always an uncomfortable experience. I never wanted to keep the headset on. I always wanted to take it off immediately. I have one favor to ask. If you're interested in cooking in augmented reality or you're thinking of buying the Apple Vision Pro, I would love to talk to you and learn more about you. I'll link a Google form down below, so please fill that out and I'll see you all soon. Bye-bye.